guys, it's Russet here. I'm doing an unboxing. I am doing my Witch's Moon Witch's Roots unboxing. And I got the box with the replacements for the missing stuff in the Witch's Moon box. So I'm adding that to this video. So I'm actually going to start with that. And it's in a box. Sorry, I don't want you guys to see my address, hopefully. It doesn't flash long enough. And parchment. And they gave us a little sachet with something in it. Okay. I'm weak. I want to see what's in the sachet. Oh, that, that oracle card is beautiful. It is, wow, a giant desert rose. It is a huge piece of desert rose. That is gorgeous. I love it. I'm happy. Yeah, they're like, we're sorry it's missing. It's on its way and with a special gift, which is the desert rose. Okay, my oracle card, Tranquility. That is beautiful, Enchanted Blossoms. It is a uh, beautiful fairy dragon. I am so happy. This is my first Witch's Moon Oracle card. I love it. My first, yeah. My first personal card. And Whoa, okay, this this is nice. Um, and the month was of Raisin Roots. I had already watched unboxing, so I, I knew what I was missing here, but I, it's still supposed to come in the box, so I contacted them. And then we got our blank parchment paper. This is nice, I like this. Yay, my first Witch's Moon box. Huzzah! And a nice piece of desert rose. That's nice. Okay. Now on to Witch's Roots. Witch's Roots. This is the smaller tier. Witch's Moon has three subscription tiers. They have Witch's Roots, which is the herbal one, and then they have Witch's Moon, which is usually a little more spell-based, a little more involved, um, and then they have Witch's Bounty, which is jewelry-based. You guys will probably never see me unboxing that one. It's like $80 a month. It's a little out of my price range. I'd prefer to have a bunch of little cheaper subscription boxes versus one or two big subscription boxes, especially when I don't need statues and stuff. I'm a Christian witch. If I put, it's idolatry if I use any other statues, that's idolatry, so. So it is a chance I take with these boxes, but I don't stick them on my altar. They might be art, but I don't, yeah. Okay. Ooh, gray parchment paper. Um, open doors. Is the theme for the witches roots. Okay, we have a book of shadows on the word I cannot pronounce, but it's, it's this, uh, sorry, this symbol. It's the triple. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry about that. That was my alarm saying, hey, it's time for work. Um, yeah, you can see 
You can see my phone back there. <laughs> um, we got a seal of Solomon, third pentacle of Mercury. And then we got lemongrass for our herbal book of shadows page. And then we have nice tan paper, just like in the witch's moon box. Okay, we have what I'm assuming is Palo Santo. It looks, I'm assuming it's Palo Santo. I'll check in the uh, page when we're done. <laughs> um, come on, open, open. Our oil for the month is A-I-N-E, Ritual Body Oil. That's why it's a slightly bigger bottle. The body oils, body oil, ritual anointing oil. And then sprays. I don't know if they always follow that, but so far, that's relatively what I'm gathering, but very, very much citrus lemongrass. Sorry, guys. Ooh, okay. I don't know what's in here, but it's not a stone. It's tinkling around. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. It is a chime that is gorgeous. I am totally in the closet, so I have no clue where I'm going to put this. But this is gorgeous. I'm totally going to figure out a way to put this up somewhere. I mean, I live alone, but my mom comes to visit occasionally, and she is very, very religious. <laughs> very, very Christian. I'm a Christian witch. I'm very, very religious, too. But, yeah. In a slightly different way, obviously. Okay, and then we got this orange pouch with a stone. Ooh. And it's, I think, reticulated quartz. It, it looks like smoky quartz, and then it has all these shard bits going through it. It's beautiful. And it has this recess, which I love. And there's all these reflective bits. That's nice. I like that. Sorry, guys. Um, and then our herb for the month, lemongrass. And we got a little dropper for our ritual oil. I'm going to have a little collection of those going because I never actually put them in the bottle. I probably should, but I have yet to. And our incense for the month. Oh, lemongrass, I'm pretty sure. Something very, very heavily herbally like lemongrass. Our candle. And something slightly leaked. There's, yeah, you can just barely see the little ink spots. Ooh, beeswax. I love the smell of beeswax. 
but it's a nice yellow candle. This is like fluorescent yellow, but like all their candles. You can unroll it and insert your own herbs and potentially a petition for your spell and then you close it back up and you burn it and do your spell. This is awesome. I love these. This is like one of the reasons I definitely stick with the Witch's Moon series of boxes because I love these beeswax candles. Um, I, I love candles period but from most of the unboxings most people just most other um, subscription boxes just send relatively normal candles. I mean, they might have herbs in them and stuff, but they're... I, I, I like the Witch's Moon candles. I like the rolled beeswax candles. And I think that's everything. Okay, let's read... Oh, and all the Book of Shadow pages. Let's read this and figure out if that was Paulo Santo. Uh... Lemongrass, Lemongrass, her herbal grimoire artwork, triple symbol wind chime, which I, is gorgeous. I love that part of this box. Um, triple symbol Book of Shadows reference page, Lemongrass ritual incense sticks, Sorry guys, Ugh, I'm horrible. I need to stop doing these when I'm so tired, but I'm working too much, so I'm always tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that should be settling down soon. We're hiring a new person. Like, my hair is a mess. I'm sorry guys. I'm usually a little more cleaned up than this, but I wanted to get this recorded and out. I've been sitting on it for a couple days already. Um... Holy Wood Palo Santo Token of Hope Mini Spell Candle. We have hand rolled this Token of Hope Mini Spell Candle with the intention of promoting the energies of opportunity and positive manifestations. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to resonate with the unique position you find yourself in and the opportunity that it grants you for future blessings. A-I-N-E, I'm Ritual Body Oil. I'm is the brilliant Irish goddess of summer and bright blessings, bringing with her the energies of good luck, wealth, and abundance. Allow the energies of joy and splendor to electrify your rituals or simply use to anoint your chakra centers during times of celebration. We have enchanted this ritual body oil with lemongrass, grapefruit, lemon, and bergamot. In addition, we have included lemongrass herb. Inside your oil, you will find a Lomarian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our brilliancy magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this ritual body oil. Rutilated quartz, tumbled stone. Yay. Um, and Seal of Solomon Book of Shadows artwork. We got everything. Huzzah. Yay. Huzzah. I love this box. It was good. I'm definitely going to keep getting this box. I love that wind chime. I, 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 I'm, I'm a big fan of wind chimes. Um, I don't really have anywhere I can put them. I live in an apartment in a not so good area of town. So, but eh, at some point maybe I'll be hanging them around the guinea pig cage or something. I don't know how bad that could potentially be. Maybe I'll hang them up in the closet around the guinea pig cage. Um, but because I have like five at my mom's. But my mom lives in a pretty good area of town and likes them anyway. So she might just hold on to those um so yeah 
see y'all in the next video.